Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry. Today, I want to teach you how to use a double loader. Many of you have said, I got the double loader, I have no idea what to do with it. Now, I like to put watercolor paints in these and not worry about it running into each other. I also can just put water in the center of this if I'm going to be doing watercolor, but I'm going to use this for one stroke painting, double loading. It's all about double loading. And so I have floating medium in the middle. And the floating medium is the fluff that's inside paint with no pigment. And I use that instead of water. So no water with one stroke painting. All right. So now I've taken my multi-surface acrylic multi-surface paint. That means exactly what it says. Wood, metal, ceramic, glass. And I put it in here. Now I'm going to put some white next to my purple. I'm going to have some white next to my magenta. I can put magenta on one side and purple on the other side if I want. And then just like this, I can have a yellow next to, let me show you how I do this. I can put yellow right here next to my sap green. There we go. I needed more yellow than I have, I guess. Okay, so the, I put whatever color next to it that I would probably use with it, okay? All right. Now I'm going, I have a lid, which I'm not showing. There's a lid and a cap so that you can close this up and it lasts like 30 days without, without a problem. I haven't ever gone 30 days, but some of my people have. Okay, so I want to show you, I've taken a brush and I've wet that brush. And so I wet it, lay it on the paper towel, and then I load. All right, so let's load right here first. Let's grab our purple and our white and I'm splitting that brush across that line and then I start working it in okay now I've got too much white I want to come down so you can see it really good I've got more white than I want because there was some white on here earlier so I'm going to wipe that off now look I split it and I go back and forth and pick up paint now this is what I want you to do back and forth back and forth quick and hard I'm pushing really hard and working it in now that's a light color now I'm going to come back here and pick up again, and this time I'm not going to push so hard. I can dip a little bit more purple because I have more white than I want. All right. Now right here, look at this. I am splitting the brush. It doesn't hurt the synthetic nylon bristles of mine, but over here I'm not splitting. Can you see that? Okay. Now I can come over here if I want to multi-load. And I can pick up some yellow. All right. And I just dipped into the yellow. But see now my colors like I want it to be right now. So now look what happens. I can take and do my regular strokes and I show you in my YouTube videos. And I'm going up. And I can come back down. And it has a perfect blend for you. Do you see that? Now I have a little trick. Let me show you a couple more little things before we go any further. See, there's still paint right there, so I can go pick up more. Or I can just dip purple. Because after the color is inside the bristles, see it's all inside there, then it holds your brush bristles together. It's got to be at least two-thirds up the bristle. Okay? And this is your ferrule, so you want to keep it cleaned out of your ferrule. If it gets too much in here and it starts getting hard, then it will wreck the bristles. We need to stay a nice chisel edge to get our strokes. Now, here's another way you can do this. You can come up, 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 and slide to a point. Or I can turn it upside down and do the second half. This half I went up and slid back down. This side, oops, I need, right here is dry, so I can just get that one corner Work it in, and don't do that very often, every third or first stroke, third or fourth stroke. And then I can come all the way up and stand up to there. So that might be easier for you to break it into two strokes. All right. So let's come over here and let's show you how to do the berry wine, I mean the magenta. And I'm going to use a 12, and I'm going to go between the two colors and grab paint. Come right here and work it in. Come here, grab some more. Work it in. Now, look, the first time I push hard and fast. Okay. The second time I go less pressure. 
okay? And then I might get a little bit of medium depending where I'm going with this brush, if it's paper or wood. And there we go, okay? So now when I'm doing this, I might come out here and do a big shell um, teardrop stroke. When I'm doing this, I'm pushing. I guide it around the top and I stand up. All right, now this is a gingerbread man. Head, two arms, and two legs, and every time he turns out good. So look, now if you want to do this, the key to my strokes is that you practice the strokes. I've got lots of teaching guides that you can practice on top of. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to touch here. Your hand over your brush needs to straight, stay up and down. I touch, push, guide it over the top to the second line, and then I stand up. So push. Now, it might be easier for you. I've got a shadow over here. It might be easier for you to come down like a teardrop right there. Okay? So look just like this all right so practice that then i take the handle of the brush and i just dot the center there you go all right so let's let's look at this again i'm gonna take off the purple but before i do i want to show you that i like to come right in here on both sides of that iris I can go up and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. See that paint still fresh in there? Now I lean down and I roll the brush. But look, it's all shaded, got lots of paint in it. And you can get a good petal with that. I can come right back here, pick up some more. Now let's do it over here. It's going to come on both sides of here. All right, so we're going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle up, lay it down, and roll it over, and there we go. So see, I put a petal on both sides. Now I can come over here, okay, just like I did that one. I'm going to wiggle out, stand up, lay the brush down, and then roll it out. Now that's the upper part of an iris. Isn't that fun? That see all the blending and shading and pretty colors you get? Now what I want to clean that brush, I rake it, can you hear that? I rake it on the brush basin. I've got the brush caddy and the double loader and a palette that all goes together. Okay, so let's go over here and let's get some green. So I'm gonna come right here and pick up green, a light and a dark. Okay, back and forth, back and forth, quickly. Inside here, split it here, then I'm gonna not push so hard, because now it's inside the brush, now I just wanna make the outside of the brush nice. All right, so you gotta push hard enough and fast enough to get it into the bristles. Then I can go over here to the medium, just tap, see that medium? I can tap in the medium, work it in, but only do the medium like every third or fourth stroke, all right? So I also, now I want you to see that this is kind of dark, all right? So if I want it lighter, I can dip some white and come right back here and work it in, okay? So now watch what happens. I'm going to do an arrow. I'm gonna go right here and I'm going to put pressure on the handle of the brush is straight up. I'm trying to get it out of your way so you can see. Okay, that's the same stroke as I did up there. Now just imagine that green and that's the leaf. Now I can come right here and flip the brush and hold the, see I start on that line. And I can go right up this edge and look what happens. If I pull a stem into the middle, looks like a leaf, okay? So, pick up paint, work it in, 
It's a medium if you need it. You could even put pink in this leaf. Now look what happens. I'm going to take and do a Y. See that Y? And start up here. Oops. It's too dark. There we go. See, I see a shell, and then I stand up. Okay, so I can go on this side, see the shell, and then stand up. All right, now that got too dark because of the pink. So I'm going to go back and let's pick up this, and we can even put a little bit of yellow if we want. And I don't want to mess it in there because I already have colors I didn't want. Okay. Okay, now look, let's do it again. Here's the Y. So on this side, I want to have the dark on the outside. See, I'm scrubbing it. See the seashell? There's a fan. Now I start standing up, standing up, standing up, all the way to here, the slide. All right, so I'm going to come back in to my palette. Come back here. One, two, three. Okay, see my fan? When I see that fan, then I can start standing up and sliding. And there's your leaf. Okay, now one last thing that people really love to see is I show you that as you're wiggling this here, you can take and roll this brush around and stand out. Isn't that kind of fun? All right, so push, more paint. Push down to get the fatness of the leaf, stand up, and pull the stem in. And there you go. One stroke leaves, one stroke flowers, very simple, and the double loader makes it possible. Put, you can let this dry or you can just wash it out in the sink. You can put water if it dries to let it sit and it'll just peel off. And I use this scruffy brush right here and I clean it all out. Okay, so hope that helps you. I'll see you next time on OneStroke.com. <laughs>